For those of us who still have videotapes, time is running out if you want to digitize that content. Experts worldwide agree that by the year 2025, it will become much harder to digitize videotape content due to the degradation of the magnetic tape, the dis disappearance of the playback systems, and the retirement of engineers who know how to work with this obsolete technology. Ahead of 2025, a group of film enthusiasts is racing the clock to digitize the home videos of private citizens. This group from Tainan National University of the Arts is traveling the country to teach people how to archive their audiovisual memories before it's too late. Here's our Sunday special report. Dress for War, the Taiwanese opera actors spur their horses and race across the countryside. Released in 1956, this film in Taiwanese caused a sensation nationwide. It's called Xue Ping Gui and Wang Bao Chuan. The film was screened for 24 days, selling more than one million tickets. Once it came off the silver screen, its master tape was stored in improper conditions and lost to time. But some 60 years later, in 2013, a cinematography expert discovered a Hakka language copy of the film in Miaoli and decided to screen the film once again. We were very lucky with the film Xue Ping Gui and Wang Bao Chuan. Had we found it a year or two later, it would have been damaged beyond repair. Besides being a documentary director, Zhen Jixian is a professor at Tainan National University of the Arts. Over the past few years, he's taken students all over the island to find audiovisual records of Taiwan's heritage. They ventured into old residences, ruins, and abandoned theaters in their search for discarded film reels. It's a physically demanding task. Once found, the videotapes are taken back to the university where the restoration magic begins. <laughs> Making the film visible again requires both strength and patience. After the reels are recovered, every smudge on the tape must be carefully brushed off by hand. I have to judge whether it will play smoothly or not. This tape is twisted over here, so when you scan the image, it will appear distorted. After the physical restoration is complete, the tapes are digitized. Then, on the computer, the images are digitally remastered. Remastering old film has become increasingly common in recent years. Today, this work is more urgent than ever, especially for old home videos that were made in the 1980s and 1990s. According to UNESCO, the year 2025 marks the 50th anniversary of magnetic tape. Because magnetic tape degrades, 2025 is a judgment day of sorts, after which it will become very difficult to recover content held on magnetic medium. Magnetic tapes have a lifespan, so when the time comes, the tape will lose magnetism. The second thing is an issue with the video players. The machines aren't made in factories anymore, so we should prioritize videotapes. Today, we're joining the video restoration team on a mission to a bowling alley about to close down in Tainan's Xinying district. Wow, In one corner of the bowling alley, we find a five-ping karaoke booth packed with old karaoke machines and more than 1,000 videos of backing tracks. The 90s were the golden age of bowling in Taiwan. To keep people spending money all day long, the owner of this bowling alley opened 18 karaoke booths so that patrons could sing in between knocking down pins. It's been more than 20 years since we last turned on the system. It broke down and we didn't feel like turning it on again. We thought they had no use, so we considered throwing them out. 
For 28 years now, the bowling alley has seen business decline as bowling and karaoke are slowly replaced by other pastimes. All these backup tracks were destined to be thrown away. Fortunately, the repair squad snatched them just in time. Every generation thinks their things don't matter. Currently, the medium that's becoming obsolete is DVDs. Every family thinks, we have so many DVDs, we should chuck them. So they throw them away. But 20 years later, when you watch a DVD, you'll think that they're precious. Commercial videotapes lend insight into the entertainment industry of the past. But what about home videos? Are they also worth saving? Over the 1980s, the standard of living in Taiwan improved, allowing many families to purchase their own camcorder to record their daily lives. For example, this moment from a Mother's Day party. Family and friends sit around a meal to celebrate with the elderly matriarch. Or this video of the whole family getting together to celebrate an unforgettable wedding. Of course, some families also use camcorders to document their children growing up. These home videos give glimpses into the daily lives of normal people. They may not be technically polished, but in the eyes of experts, each is an irreplaceable treasure. Home videos can show an outing at some beach resort that no longer exists. Even if the footage is shaky and it's not professional, it shows what the place was like before it disappeared. Of course, we believe this type of historical footage is very important. We've seen videos of marriages from which we can discover banquet culture. The footage shows you banquet culture. You have to restore and research the tape to better understand its contents. It allows us to better understand what daily life was like back then. We're in Tainan's Xuejiat Siji Temple, built more than 300 years ago for the god Bao Shen Dadi. It's the local center of religion. We're guided to a storage space in the temple. A cabinet is open to reveal film roll containers covered in dust. It took the restoration task for several months to repair their contents. The results are astonishing. The tape reels that had been locked away for years show a grand festival in 1983. That year, performers from all over Taiwan gathered outside the temple to take part in a parade that stretched for kilometers. Decades later, a celebration of the scale has not been seen again. The footage shows performance arts that have been lost to time. Fortunately, a swift rescue operation has allowed these celebrations to live on in the collective memory of Xuejia residents. Through watching the film, we rediscover some traditional folk arts that have been lost. We worked to see how we could recover them, so we proactively reached out to local heads in other temples. Today, we have restored about seven parade formations. Projectors and old media players have been gradually made obsolete by digital media, leaving family memories and historical moments unwatched in their cases. The film rescue team currently only has 20 members. How can they recover all of Taiwan's forgotten films? <laughs> This fan is how the Film Rescue Squad promotes its work. They've traveled with it all over Taiwan, teaching people how to fix videotapes. Gathering the tools is easy. All you need is a screwdriver, some cotton buds, alcohol, and a microfiber cloth. To get started, open up the case and slowly clean the tape of any moldy spots. One of the worst things that could happen is discovering the roll is stuck together. The main problem we encounter is when it's too late to fix it and when they are thrown away because of mold or whatever. 
After 2025, the tapes might have lost all magnetism. They weren't made for long-term storage. If the video players are not produced anymore anywhere in the world, or if no one can repair the machines, the content will be lost forever. So we're in a fight against time. Besides instructing people on how to save the tapes, the rescue team owners also help tape owners store the videos in a digital format. The participants in these activities come from near and far to give video restoration a shot. Many bring their own videotapes along. When we graduated, we took four more headshots. We recorded bits from when we took the headshots to the graduation ceremony. The video player broke down and it's already obsolete, so there's no way for me to watch the videos again. Sometimes our memories can get a bit hazy and it's quite easy for us to forget things. You might need something that can help you recall these beautiful memories. In Taiwan, film restoration and digitalization started taking off in 2005 but most experts use their skills to restore and archive old movies and news reports. Currently, only the team from TNNUA focuses on home video restoration, but they say their funds and manpower are limited. We urge the public sector to really pay attention to this, because here we need a lot of people and resources. The government is doing a lot of cultural preservation, spending tens of millions or hundreds of millions in the regeneration of historic sites project. For me, none of that can compare with the work we do here. There are very few people who can do this. Teaching the concept to people, affecting change, and building a national database, that's an enormous cultural undertaking. The team is trying to train more people to restore videos to ensure the audiovisual treasures of Taiwan are kept for the ages. Next time you're cleaning out your storage, think twice before throwing out old videotapes, which can contain invaluable images of the past.